Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And for you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Donnie and I am busy building a motorhome from scratch. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna continue work on the motorhome. So I'm gonna flip the camera over in a second and show you exactly what I plan on doing this week. So guys, this is what the motorhome looks like. In the last video, I installed these window frames and the electric windows and everything works fine. And I then continued by cutting out the side panels from that fiberglass honeycomb material that I'm going to be building the rest of the motorhome with and I temporarily just put it in place. It's not glued into position yet because I'm first building all of the puzzle pieces and then I'm going to put everything together. And like I said in the previous videos, I am concentrating on working on the front end of this motorhome. So I want to finish up the cab area before I continue to the rest of the motorhome. And the last piece of the puzzle that I need to construct for the front end is that piece over there because on the top of this motorhome there is as much going on as there is on top of my head not much so i'm planning on making a front end there for the motorhome and then i've had everything made and i can start gluing everything into its final position now guys the way that i want to build that that top end over there or that hood whatever you want to call it in the front is going to be a little bit different than how i made or constructed this part of the mud home because guys this front end had a little bit more complicated curves and corners and so on so i made a mold and i took a mold and i made a product and this is what it looks like but on the top there i'm going to do it a little bit differently i'm basically going to just be putting something there in the shape or the form that i want that top end to look like and I'm going to put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of that and that should be it and then I can insulate it from the inside making it nice and quiet. Now guys my biggest issues are the fact that this curvature of this top end is going to be compounded in other words it's not only just going to be curving in that direction but it's also going to be curving in that direction so I cannot simply use a flat piece of something and just curve it in that direction but what i can do is i'm going to be using some hardboard that i'm going to be fitting there on the top and i'm going to fold it over and then i'm going to cut in a couple of v's into the sides on both sides and start bending them inwards and hopefully i could get a shape that i'm happy with now guys this is just an experiment i hope it's going to work but we'll see how it goes on the side over here also i need to continue that rounded corner all the way to the top and the way that i want to do that is i'm going to take a 110 mil pvc pipe i'm going to first cut it in half and then i'm going to take that half and i'm going to cut many slits into it so that it can then be shaped almost like a slinky and i can use that to take the form of that roundness over there and when i'm happy with the shape I could then put some fiberglass on top of that. So let me set up the camera and we'll see if I can do something about this motorhome's bolt spot.
Okay guys, time for an update. I've now finished making this rooftop over here and that plastic PVC pipe that I used on both sides also helped make it nice and round and I'm very happy with the shape at the moment so I can now start fiberglassing it in before I remove this mold or whatever you want to call it on the inside but guys I am definitely going to struggle there on top to put some fiberglass over there because it's close to the roof and it's very high up so it's probably going to be a bit of a mission but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this windshield so I can stand on the inside and then put fiberglass on top over there and maybe I can just put a layer or two on top and then I'll be able to remove that whole top section put it down on the ground and put some nice couple of layers of fiberglass on there and finish it off and hopefully I'll have myself a nice roof front area for the motorhome so let me get started with the fiberglassing and we'll see how it goes Alrighty guys, I've now finished putting a couple of layers of fiberglass on this uh, mold or roof piece, whatever you want to call it. And it is now time for me to remove it so I can put more fiberglass on top of it, making it nice and strong and finishing it off. But guys, after I put the fiberglass in this corner over here, the mold did sag ever so slightly. You'll see if I put this flat edge here that there is a gap about half an inch thick in this corner over here uh, the other side came out nice but this one does have a bit of a gap that i need to fix so i could theoretically now just put more and more fiberglass on top and then eventually finish it off with some filler making it nice and smooth but guys i want to do an experiment and i'm going to use this expanding polyurethane foam and what i want to do is i want to spray it in that corner and have it expand and then I can sand it down and then put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of that after it is nice and smooth and hopefully I'll get a perfect line on top here and if it works it'll be even stronger in this corner because that foam will then be sandwiched in between a layer or two of fiberglass on both sides uh, but this is going to be an experiment I've not done this before so there's a lot of firsts in this video so let's see how it goes otherwise I'll just have to start all over again <laughs> guys sometimes when I come up with a plan it is awesome and other times and this time my plan did not work out at all and in retrospect putting that polyurethane foam over there did not work because it was just too messy and it didn't stick to the fiberglass and all I needed to do was just brace the inside where it was sagging a little bit so that I could put some more fiberglass on top of it until it is nice and strong and then I would not have had a problem I ain't perfect you know so I've braced it now and I can put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top there and that should make it nice and strong and give it the lines that I'm looking for and then I can take it off and finish it off on the floor
guys, so I have now finished putting the fiberglass on the roof and it is nice and strong and also whilst I was waiting for the fiberglass to dry I took the time to just fill in these cavities with fiberglass on both sides to bond this part of the windshield with the door and also on the inside I put fiberglass there on the inside to just box in that whole frame there so I'll now be able to just pry it loose and just finish off the side and then I can bond it into position permanently so that is all nice and dandy but before I remove the roof I just want to go off topic quickly and just tell you guys something that I find very very amusing and that is that I don't know if you guys know this but every time that you upload a video on YouTube you have to fill in a few things a couple of criteria that you need to add to your video like for instance I need to create a thumbnail and I need to create a description and then in the metadata I fill in a couple of search terms that I think YouTube might need to promote my video to the right type of person like for instance I would put in words or search terms like RV build or motorhome or home build or scratch build or stuff like that and then YouTube starts promoting the videos to the appropriate viewer now the thing is that YouTube's algorithm is so smart that it starts promoting the video to more and more people depending on what type of imagery or videos or content you have created because it can actually see what's going on in your video and then it starts promoting your video to new viewers and it gives me feedback as to what types of search terms has brought viewers to my channel so that I can use that in later videos and um, guys I don't know who it was I don't know if you're watching still but one of the search terms that came back that brought people to my channel <laughs> is the word man butt crack <laughs> so I find that kind of amusing very funny but all I want to say is guys I cannot be held liable or responsible for any mental or psychological damage that might occur from my videos because I do try my best to delete all inappropriate imagery but sometimes some of it does slip through the cracks So I've now taken this roof off, I flipped it over and I cleaned it out on the inside and then I started reinforcing the inside. And the way that I do that is I use that expanded foam and you can just adjust it and shape it the way that you want. And I formed it in the shape that I deem strong enough and then I just covered it with a layer of fiberglass. Now the expanded foam has got no strength in it but it just gives a cavity for the fiberglass to box over and I did the same thing on the bonnet and the bumper and it gave it an immense amount of strength it really strengthens the fiberglass exponentially if you box it in the way that i did now so i'm just going to leave this to dry for a little while and then i'm going to flip it over and then i'm going to start putting body filler on this whole roof and start sanding it down and see if i can get it nice and smooth and then maybe put a layer of primer on it and a layer of paint and then we can put it back on top of the motor
Yay! Progress, guys! After a lot of sanding and painting and filling and sanding and eventually painting it white, I am finished with this roof piece and I think it is looking mighty fine. Let me tell you. So guys, that is it. I have now finished making all of the pieces that I need to fabricate or to make this cab so I can start gluing everything into position. I can now trim that piece over there to size and then fit it and then glue everything and also I can finish off or I want to finish off this windshield frame but I'm going to do that next week because guys this is going to be it for this video I think it's looking pretty uh, you guys can tell me what you think about it but I will see you next week thanks for watching cheers